part four. Quick go! So what are some of your favorite books? Uh, I'd say one of my favorites is Ayn Rand, The Fountainhead. Okay. What's that about? I don't, I think that it's about architecture. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Okay. Different experiences, right? Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's about architecture in the 50s and a guy who oh. um, leaves university because he doesn't feel like he's learning anything. And he goes on to <laughs> found the minimalist um, art style in architecture and revolutionize the cost of buildings, you know. Uh, obviously, it's fictional, but it's based off the, the minimalist revolution that actually happened in uh, architecture where people went for less grandiose designs and these more minimalist and sleek designs. And those designs also ended up being cheaper so that they could create uh, more low-cost housing. Which is... And what are some of your best quotes? Uh, I'd say my, one of my favorite quotes right now is from Ray Kroc, and that is that uh, persistence and determination should be held above all. Uh, Talent can't replace it. The world is filled with un unsuccessful, talented men. Oh. Uh, genius won't replace it. Uh, unrecognized genius is practically a cliche. Education won't replace it. Uh, un the world is filled with uneducated derelicts. And then, um, you know, persistence and determination must be held above all. They're omnipotent. It's yeah, great. Very true. So do you have any apps and other resources that you'd like to recommend? Uh, I don't actually use that many apps. Um, <laughs> I recommend Google Drive and Gmail straight up. That's my whole life yeah. happens on, on the Google systems. I do everything on the cloud. So do you have like a morning or evening routine? If so, what is it? Um, I, I like to longboard oh. to clear my head. I find that's, that's quite cool. It's also nice to get around Cape Town. You know, distances I have to travel are never long enough to justify a car ride. So. Yeah. Get a bit of air. It's also nice when you're spending 20 hours a day in front of a computer to to get on. But I, I don't really have any rituals, no. Okay. So, so tell me, like, what was like one of your most embarrassing moments? I, I don't get embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> my 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 belief there is that embarrassment is a choice. You have to choose to be embarrassed, and that's only if if you're letting society make you feel ashamed of who you are. And I I'm not gonna let society shame me. Sure. So, what are the top three principles that have benefited you throughout your life? Hmm, I'd say skepticism, mm -hmm. hugely, uh, minimalism, any time that you feel frustrated in life, just take things out of it, you know, if, if you feel upset at your clothes, just cut it down to two outfits, if you feel upset at your commute, you know, take elements of it out, oh, you know, I, uh, minimalism has really helped me a lot, and then I'd also say finding a good work-life balance, you know, you need to, you can't just work all the time, you need to find time for friends, you need to find time to, to exercise, I think that's very important. So they say you're the average of the five people which you spend most of your time with. Yeah. What are the qualities that you admire in the people that you surround yourself with? I'm very envious of how chilled Wynn is because I can never find a moment in the day where I'm calm and he seems to just exude calmness for days. <laughs> so what I do is I'll seat him next to me and his calmness will spill over and sometimes I'll get small bits of it and it'll calm me down. It's great. So what are the habits that you believe have contributed to your success at such a, such a young age? Um, I'd say one of my big habits is do it every day. Whatever you want to do, just do it every day. Whether it's film, whether it's programming, whether it's games, just even on a weekend, just for 10 minutes, just oh, every single yeah. day, just do it every day, you know? And uh, I think since 2009, I've been coding every day. And I've put Whoa. definitely 10,000 hours wow. since then. So it's been, just do it every day. You'll get it done. You'll get your 10,000 hours, it happens. And how do you define success? Um, I'd say success is difficult to define. Uh, for me personally, it'll be when I feel that the games I'm producing live up to what I want them to do, you know, in terms of uh, works of art and when people like get it. Even if it is only one person who really gets it, if they really get what I'm trying to say, then I'd say mission accomplished. Uh, what are your plans for the next three years? Uh, the next three years are going to be crazy. So right now the plan is to release Polygod and then a mobile game we've been working on called Beat Bomb. Okay. And then I've got another game I want to work on called Damascus. And if Polygod does well, I want to do Polygod 2. So oh, this, no. that's, that's the dream, you know, if everything Great. goes to plan. I, I want to work. I want to, I want to make games. I want to get stuck in. So what is the final advice that you can leave for our head starters today? I would say you don't lose when someone else beats you. You lose when you stop trying. And what do you think it means to be a head starter with life? I'd say it means to, you know, look, analyze opportunities when you can, you know, understand, every, understand everything that you can as soon as you can, you know, be, be ahead of the game. 
and where can people find more about you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook at uh, Polygod Game. You can find me on Twitter at, at Atomic Dom. Uh, on Steam with at Atomic Dom. Uh, yeah, Steam on Polygod. I'm on the internet. <laughs> Hey Headstarters, I hope you enjoyed that episode, so subscribe, watch our other episode, I hope it works, and I'll see you again. Hey Headstarters, I hope you absorbed a lot from this episode, so remember to subscribe and let's try to get a million likes, a nice realistic goal. If you want to check out the full episode as a podcast, then check out the links below. Bye! No, no, we're not gonna, we don't have to put that there. <laughs>